In this video, we want to show you how to install the Monster 2 balance wheel, going from the standard balance wheel. First, remove the screw that's in the clutch knob. Unscrew the clutch knob and set it aside. There's a clutch washer underneath. Set that aside as well. Pull that uh, balance wheel off. It'll be a little bit tough because of the belt. Then we need to remove the shield. This shield will not fit with the Monster 2 balance wheel. Its diameter is much bigger. Once that's off, we'll take our Monster 2 balance wheel and we'll check to make sure that the screws, the two screws in the side, are not in the way of the shaft. This one's fine. However, this one's sticking out, so we'll back it off with the provided Allen wrench that comes with the Monster 2 balance wheel. Be sure to shove that balance wheel on all the way up against that shaft. Now, take your uh, clutch washer and inspect it. You'll notice there are three prongs on the outside and two prongs on the inside. We want to look at those prongs on the inside. If you notice, there's a raised side. There's the raised side. That raised side must face out, away from the balance wheel when you put it on here. Now, as far as the three fingers on the center, we don't know for sure whether we have it on right until we screw the clutch, wash, uh, clutch knob back on. So we'll do that. Then we'll insert the screw in the clutch knob here. Now you don't want to screw this in too tight. It just needs to be up against the edge and then stop. Otherwise, you can break the, uh, the housing that the screw sits in. And then when you release it, how far does it release? Or can you tighten it to the point where that balance wheel won't slip? You see that screw is coming in contact with one of the fingers on the outside. we got to take this thing out and turn that clutch washer 180 degrees. So take the screw out, take the uh, clutch knob off, and then take this washer and rotate it at 180 degrees. You'll notice that three fingers are now in different locations. Now we take that clutch knob, screw it on, being careful that it doesn't fall off, and then put the screw on. Look at that. Now it's loose enough that we can wind bobbins and tight enough that we can lock that baby down hard. Now we'll take our belt, we'll start at the bottom of the jack drive, and we'll walk it on as we would a bicycle chain. There we are. We started from the bottom and went to the top. Now don't forget, underneath this uh, belt there are two Allen head set screws. You can lock those down with the Allen wrench provided and your balance wheel will never slip on the shaft. However, you can't wind bobbins without the needle going up and down. So you have to decide which you want, power or the ease of winding bobbins. And that's it for installing the Monster 2 balance wheel. Good luck.